Hi there, so today we're gonna to have a look at how we get an animated GIF into Final Cut Pro 10 and then how we can work with it once we're editing. The process that we're gonna follow is basically taking a screen capture of that animated GIF. So we're gonna run through how we do that and then look at some of the options we have for, for cropping that animated GIF once we actually get that animation into Final Cut Pro onto the timeline. So the first thing we need to do is uh, bring up an animated GIF and we're having a look on one of my favorite websites, knowyourmeme.com. And we're going to have a look at this animation that I've searched for already, the classic Nyan Cat. And we're going to look at how we capture this and then turn it into part of our edit within Final Cut Pro. So we'll just scroll down here. Okay. And what we're looking for is the animated GIF version of this, which should be playing back in the browser already, not the, the QuickTime movie. Okay. So animated GIFs are always silent. There's no sound to them. So we're not really worried about that. And once we're seeing this, we're going to right click on it. Okay, and we're gonna copy the image address. So we just wanna have the animated GIF itself within the browser, and then we're gonna to go to the location and just paste in that address, okay? So we're just gonna be looking um, at the GIF. Okay, now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, one is that you just capture this at the size that it's at, or we can even zoom in um, a little bit to the animation. And I prefer to do it this way. It means that there's less uh, resizing or scaling up once we're in Final Cut Pro. Um, if we want to uh, increase the size of our image. So the next step is to bring up a piece of software to actually capture this with, okay? And we're going to use QuickTime Player, okay? So you can see down here the QuickTime Player icon, okay? And we're going to do a, a screen capture with this. So we're going to go to File, New Screen Recording, okay? Now we have some options once we get into QuickTime Player of turning on audio for this, but obviously we don't need that. We just need and the screen recording itself. And the nice thing about working with QuickTime Player is that we can reduce the size of our video by making a selection on the screen. So when we press record here, and we're gonna begin recording, we're just gonna drag out around the area of the screen that we wanna record, okay? And now we can see from this little icon up here in our toolbar at the top that QuickTime is recording um, the loop here. Okay, now let the loop play back as many times as you want to show it on screen. So for a longer duration, rather than just capturing the, you know, one round of the loop, because that means you have to do less editing within Final Cut Pro or copying and pasting of the loop. Okay, and also make sure your mouse is kept outside of the area that you're recording. So let's hit stop now. We'll just go back here. Okay, so now we have our Nyan Cat loop in QuickTime, and we're going to have a look at how we get this into Final Cut Pro. So. We're gonna to go to File, Save. Save this as a QuickTime movie. And we'll just drop this straight onto the desktop here. Okay. And now in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna make a new edit and we're just gonna to go to File, New Project or New Timeline. Okay. And we'll keep the setup um, as this custom setup here. So I've got it set up as 720p running at 60 frames per second. Okay, and we'll call this project. Okay. So now we can grab the recording that we made on the desktop, okay, and then just drop that straight onto our Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. So that's the basics of it, how to get the recording onto the, the timeline. Now, at the moment, our recording is scaled um, to fit, and we also have this white border around here. So I'm gonna jump in and go to crop. Okay, so I've got my timeline selected and I'm using the the trim option um, under the crop tool just to pull in these corners here so that I don't see the edge of that video. Okay, I'm doing this quite roughly but we can, can go into our video options here and make the cropping a little more accurate if you want to so you can see we can actually pull this up and down or type in a number if we wanna get that crop perfectly on the edge, okay? But for the purposes of this exercise, just turn that off, this will be okay. And now in order to have lots of Nyan Cats, you notice we call this clip Nyan Cat Max, and um, we're gonna duplicate this layer. So I'm just gonna reduce the, the clip height here, actually just to a sliver so I can drag some more copies of this Nyan Cat out. So I'm gonna drag these, holding down the Alt key, and just drag these up so I get multiple duplicates of that Nyan Cat. And then I'm going to jump back up um, here and jump to the Transform tool. And I can now move these around. So you can see we get a nice composite 
of many Nyan cats. And we can rescale them using the scale and transform tool here. And you can see here how Final Cut allows us to stack these like a deck of cards. Now I've done this pretty roughly. Um, if we want to make sure that certain layers are in front of others, we can start to juggle these layers um, in the timeline and that will place one layer above the next. Okay. And increase the size of this one so that we've so that we've filled the whole screen with our iron cats. Click done here. And then we can play back. And we've created multiple Nyan cats. We can loop this as many times as we want, export it out, re-upload it, and uh, meme the meme. Okay, so if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, um, about getting images or files into Final Cut Pro, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet, at Ben Hassel. I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.